Hey guys, what's up? It's Rygar the Destroyer, and today we are going to be comparing the original Black Series Yoda figure to the brand new release right here. And before we get started, if you guys like this video and would like to see more, go ahead and hit the subscribe button. It's free and it really helps out the channel. So one thing that I feel like I need to address before the video gets started too deep is that this figure right here is not the original Black Series Yoda figure. This is the Walmart exclusive Force Spirit version. And we're going to be using him as a stand-in because I don't actually own the original Black Series figure. Uh, we will, however, be talking about the problems that the original figure and the archive figure have. Um, so we're just using this guy as a stand-in. So let's go ahead and take a look at him a little bit more closely. Now, this Yoda figure stands uh, about three and a quarter inches tall, while the new one stands at... Uh, maybe two and a quarter. So there is a pretty significant size difference between these two figures. And um, I'm not sure exactly how tall Yoda is, uh, but I, I think that the original Black Series figure is maybe a little bit too tall. Um, it's not like a deal breaker or anything in my opinion, um, but he I think is maybe a little bit too tall. I think the new one is closer to um, his actual you know, 1 12th scale. Now, as far as articulation on the original figure goes, uh, it is a real mixed bag. Let's go ahead and run through it. He's got a ball peg in the neck here, which works rather well. He's got ball hinge shoulders, again, nicely articulated. They do swivel 360, however, they're kind of stopped up by the tunic. He has double jointed elbows with an absolutely excellent range of motion. Uh, but this is kind of where we run into our first problem, and that is that there's no bicep swivel on the arm. So basically, his arms are very difficult to pose because it's hard to get the figure to pose correctly with no swivel here at the shoulder. And then he does have a hinged wrist with a swivel, um, pretty standard stuff. Uh, one other problem that I do have with this figure's arms is that they feel a little bit too long. Um, it's not a huge deal, uh, but they do feel a little bit too long because of that uh, double jointed elbow. He does have what feels like a ball peg here at the waist. No complaints there, decent range of motion. Then he's got underneath his skirts here a T jointed hips, excellent range of motion forward. Um, you know, decent range of motion out to the side, a little bit back, and then he's got a thigh swivel right under that. And one thing that you'll notice is that the rest of his legs are basically trunks. Um, I don't know why they have a thigh swivel, you know, when his legs are completely solid, um, you know, from the hip down, uh, but that is the decision that Hasbro made, and it's something that I think is probably the worst part of, of this figure. He does have hinged um, ankles, those work. Uh, fine, there is a swivel in there. So overall, a real mixed bag on the original figure. Um, pretty decent articulation in the arms, but almost none um, in the legs or, or not overly useful articulation in the legs. So the new figure is a serious improvement over the old one. He's got a ball peg here in the head. Excellent range of motion there, no complaints. And this particular release of the figure does come with a second head um, with um, the eyes that are sculpted closed, which is a huge bonus. He does have ball hinge shoulders, decent range of motion there. They do swivel 360. Again, they are limited because of the um, binding. Now he's got single jointed elbows, which overall have a um, lower range of motion, uh, but the articulation is just more usable. You know, there's a swivel in there so you can bring the arm across the body. And I don't think that anybody ever really needed double jointed elbows on the original Black Series Yoda figure. There is a hinge and swivel at the wrist. However, because of the sculpt work um, on the wrist, where there's kind of a cuff from his shirt, um, you're not going to use it. It's pretty much going to be just a swivel there um, at the wrist. In the torso, he's got what feels like a swivel. It might be a ball peg, uh, but you're going to get mostly just a swivel out of it. At the hips, he does have what feel like T-joints at least. It's hard to see down in there. Yeah, they're T-joints. Um, nice range of motion there. Definitely enough for Yoda. Then he's got hinged knees with an excellent range of motion there and a swivel as well. Um, a huge, huge improvement um, over the original one. And then he's got hinged ankles 
with a swivel and then there's basically an ankle rocker in there. Um, this articulation is a little weird, it's a little hard to use, um, but you don't need a huge range of motion out of these feet, seeing as Yoda is mostly going to be just sitting or standing there or in Luke's backpack. So overall, the new figure is a huge improvement in the articulation department. Now, as far as the aesthetics on these figures go, you'll have to imagine on the original one uh, or the archive one, but the cloth robes were just just terrible um, and that's a problem that they fixed on the new one this fabric is in a much better scale for this figure and on the original archive one original or the archive one it's basically just like a tarp it looks absolutely terrible and for me it's one of the things that prevented me from buying that figure originally and that's something again that they made a huge improvement on in the new figure so Overall, which version um, of Yoda do I think you should buy? And it's hands down uh, this new one from the two-pack with Luke. Absolutely fantastic. The only real comparison you can make between the new figure and the old one is in the face sculpt, which are both decent, uh, but honestly, the face sculpt isn't enough to save the original figure. This one here is hands down the definitive version that you should be picking up for your collection. Better aesthetics, better scale, better articulation, uh, overall just a, a way better figure. If you do uh, want a version of Yoda on the original body for whatever reason, I definitely recommend going for the for Force Ghost version. Um, I think that the metallic cloth that they used for his uh, robes here um, is much better scaled, and I think that this um, version um, is actually pretty nice looking. I think that they did a nice job with this, but this is the only version on the original body that I would recommend buying, and maybe we'll see a version, uh, a Force Spirit version released on this new body. So let me know down in the comment section below, which version of Yoda do you like better? Do you like the new one or the old one? And I guess I'll see you guys later.